So I heard this gun is busted right now in Modern Warfare 3. That gun being the DG-58. Sadly, I can't troll the player base because I don't have it unlocked. But luckily, all we need to do is complete three daily challenges. Get five operator headshot kills with SMG. Get six operator kills while crouched. And get three operator kills without taking damage ten times. So basically, play like a bit. So I thought I'd jump in here with the striker and see what we can make it happen. But the challenges sound like I need to be a pretty stealthy boy to be able to figure out how to actually get these kills. I finally unlocked smoke grenades, which in the war game mode, you're definitely going to need. Oh my god, they thought the tank here already. I'm going to throw a smart grenade right there. I don't think we took any damage there. There we go. Now, I did play this mode on stream a couple days ago. And for my first experience of playing it, I honestly wasn't a big fan. Mainly because I kind of got frustrated because they took the map crossfire and ruined my experience with it. And now I need to fall back and I have no idea where. This UI is all over my face. I have no idea where I need to go. I still got the kill though, but I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, there we go. I think the war game mode is a cool idea. I think it could use some better UI elements to kind of figure out like where the hell do I need to go? Do you want me to do these things? I need some direction because this is a new game mode for me, man. Oh my god, no! Like, can I at least get like an arrow to be like, hey, just go over here, dude, and you'll be fine. And then it'll just eat my concerns a lot more. I don't know what your guys' experience has been with war, but it's definitely been a mixed bag for me. I think it's just like a learning curve. It's a skill issue. Aim for the head. No, he took my kill. Uh, whoop. Yeah. Gotta counter that with a smoke. You have nothing you can do about it now, brother. Oh, no, he's in the corner. And their downside of the mode war is that it's only on this map. There are no other maps to play on, which I'm like, man, really? You're gonna create this whole new mode and only have one map for it? It's not even that expansive of a mode either. But I really like the idea of this mode. Another headshot for the challenges. This kind of feels almost like Rush from Battlefield, but in a Call of Duty style, which, I mean, I love Rush. So if you put it in Call of Duty, I mean, I'm probably gonna play it and probably enjoy it. Not as much as being jump shotted by a crazy dude who's cracked out with a Faro skin. Oh no, he's right around the corner! Please let the grenade kill him. Yes! Just like Bob Ross said, these are, those are beautiful mistakes. Oh, he's making the corner! Not long enough, though. Oh my god, I ran real close to getting this. We're stopping it. You gotta stop it. We got it. No! Now they're going for the other one. I get it, the red flashing light means bad. They increase health really plays into this game. Like, jeez, are those Modern Warfare 2? Those definitely would have been kills. The level is freaking out right now because we're on the last defense spot. I'm trying to override it, but my team just keeps dying, brothers! Stop it! Oh my god, there's another grenade! Run, no! Tried so hard! Just gotta turtle walk my way around the map here. There we go. Now we're making progress. Yeah, I really hope we do, do see some more maps come into war because I think this is a really cool idea of a mode. Yeah, we captured Bravo already. Look at us being efficient warriors on the battlefield. And I hope they allow a little bit more flanking rounds. I feel like the map design, at least on this one, feels very much just like run directly at the enemy and hope for the best. Which, I mean, I think if people like that kind of style game mode, you'll definitely like war. God, no! Fun thing about these maps, though, is that they're actually a little bit interactive. Like right here, you can go in there and plant the bomb. And then when you plant that bomb, it blows up that section, which creates a new path for people to utilize. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that so far. I feel like I'm like the only person ever in my matches to ever do this. Oh, no! You know they're going to bring some new maps into this mode. And when they do, I really hope that they change up the map design a little bit. Because, like I said, it really funnels the action down. Oh, my God, they're rebuilding it? I don't think they can rebuild. There we go. Yeah, we got the headshot crouch, buddy. This section of the map right here should really showcase what I'm talking about. So this is basically crossfire from COD for recreated, but there's some key aspects that really were cut off. Make it so you can't access from certain areas, which would be absolutely crucial for this mode to make it so that you can actually progress through. But it seems like, especially in this section, you have to utilize smokes. Basically just war of attrition your way to the end of the map. Like this whole building right here, which normally in crossfire you can get to, in this game mode, you can't do it. Like in crossfire, normally you can get through this door right here, which would then take you to the back of the map, which would be an amazing flanking route, which would be super useful. You can't do it in here. So that's kind of one of the aspects I'm talking about where it's saying you absolutely need to be able to add these flanking rounds so you don't have to depend on just having to just run forward the entire time. You know, holding W isn't always the best strategy because this section right here is just absolute death. We have to go through this one hallway and they have so many corners to look around. Dude, why'd you have to put your shield down? I have to get crouch kills. All right, one more crouch kill, one more headshot. That's all we need, boys. There we go. We got our crouch. We got our headshot. Challenge is completed.
true. Now you seem to get three kills in a row without dying. And taking damage, so that's not gonna work. But yeah, war kind of just feels like organized chaos in a way. So if you're the kind of person who likes, say, Nuketown, or likes Shoot House, or likes Shipment even, you will actually might like war. Oh my god, I have to play so passively to get three kills in a row without getting damaged. That's not gonna work. Yeah! All right, new strategy here. We're going sniping here with the Cat AMR new sniper rifle here in Modern Warfare 3. To see if we can sit in the back of the map. No, we're not. Basically, I wanted to camp like a bit and see if we get our three kills without taking damage. I feel like this war mode is a total farm fest. Like you can absolutely just slay the enemies on this map because it just funnels everyone down these specific hallways. Oh my God, I'm ready to fall back, but I have no idea where. No! All right, this section of the map is where I feel like we can make the magic happen. This weird, like, scatter mine thing you can place down, which I don't know what that's all about, but have some fun with it, I guess. There's a guy up in this window right here. There we go. He plays two down? You can. Okay. <laughs> this might be a little overpowered. Oh, no. We gotta go. I don't know where. We gotta go. We gotta go. No! There we go. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Long range sniping feels kind of fun. With the increased health as well, you actually have a chance to win some difficult gunfights. Yeah, I didn't realize how hard this challenge would be to just get 10 kills. To get three kills without taking damage. You want to know something? I'm incredibly smart. Because rather than sweating for the challenges, I forgot I bought into the campaign, completed the mission, and you get the brogue blueprint, so... Let's give it a go. So then does that technically make this weapon pay to win? Because if all you need to do is buy the campaign, you get the best gun in the game. I don't know. Joking, of course. The ADS speed's pretty fast on it too, which is nice. You can kind of be a little mobile with this weapon. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you land headshots, this thing instantly melts. Dude, the hip fire is pretty good on it too, you can see. Okay, another one. Now, the time to kill on this thing is pretty nice, especially with the extended time to kill that's within Modern Warfare 3. Everything just takes a little extra time, which I like, the 150 health. Oh my goodness. Just a one burst that boy. Oh, okay, okay. Now I can see why people are calling for this weapon to be nerfed, because sheesh, I melted that dude. And this is just the regular blueprint. This isn't fully kitted out. The magazine's pretty small on it, with only 20 rounds in it, so you can't just completely slay out everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You can take out the sweaty slide kids, okay. Slap a 30 round magazine on this thing and I'll be very happy. Oh, I'm kind of loving this. If you're the kind of person who loves to kind of post up around the corner and just take pick off kills from a distance, this might be your weapon. I'm not saying if you're like, I can't be dude, you need to use this gun, but I'm saying it's a weapon that's good for people who like to rotate around the map, position themselves around cover. You might be able to hold your own in a, in a hip fire gunfight as well. Ooh. Here we go. Oh my god, there's angle though. Oh yeah, all the cans. Yeah, it's got my thing from full. And so has the garbage inside. I'm stuck in the inside. Oh my god. I am absolutely destroying right now. My god, that spot was absolutely beautiful. And we absolutely slayed right there. The funny thing is once I equipped this weapon, I actually started making some good progress on my challenge right here. To actually earn the weapon, so that's hilarious. This thing kills so freaking fast. Oh my god, did I just embarrass that guy? This is the part of the match where they need to start utilizing smoke grenades, which are absolutely needed for this mode for it to have any success. Oh! <laughs> yeah, this weapon's definitely gonna get nerfed at some point. See, now that's what they're doing right here. They're trying to use the smoke to get some progress forward. Absolutely needed on this mode. See, I told you, dude, look at that. Victory right there. So, in closing, is it worth the grind for this weapon? Absolutely. 